Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to explain that I'm giving my Python script away free, but you still must own the base content that costs $2 by Lord Ashes, and I'll put the link in the video description. I just want to explain that I can't give away what isn't mine, and we'll go ahead and get started. I made a few improvements to my 3D text speller since the last video yesterday or the day before maybe. We'll go ahead and just show you a couple of examples. The first one I'm just going to type out the chocolate bar. There is the, sorry if I could spell, the chocolate bar. There's a little bar by my house called the chocolate bar. and It's kind of, kind of a half store, half bar, kind of a candy store and bar. It's kind of weird. I don't go in there. Never been in it. Except for, I've been in it, but I've never drinking a beer there. But, and just to, uh, no Glow channel yet, but I did add a scale just to say that. And we'll go ahead and just spell it. And I'll browse for my texture. Let's see. Let's see. A little chocolate squirrel. I'll get a sip of beer while that's spelling. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so there's our, I'll kind of zoom out a little. That's our kind of little chocolate swirl. You can use whatever texture you like. I was just talking to somebody yesterday about it'd be kind of nice to map this to have some other font sets, but for now it's one font set. But And we'll go ahead and do another one. So I'll just say a uh, new project just to get that out of our way. And this load our 3D speller again. And this time we're going to just say, um, I'll call this Wacky Shack. Show you one I created a little earlier today. And I'm probably going to bump up the size of that scale, but let me go back to my textures folder. And I did try to learn a start in folder, but it didn't work. So it's just one of those. Uh, here it is right there. This is just something, you know, I was just trying to, I wasn't sure what kind of a little wacky texture might look like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so that was our little wacky shack. Ah, let me, there we go. Kind of just to show you. Okay. So that's nothing uh, too different than what I showed in the last video. So now we'll go ahead and create a neon light. So to do that, I want to create a completely dark scene. So to for that, I'm just going to say new project. I'm going to go to the visual tab and go to the image based lighting and uncheck it. And then I don't think I even need to do this, but I'm going to just make sure the global illumination is all the way off. And then, oops, sorry, we don't need that anymore. And next I'm going to go down to my lights in my scene and just get rid of all the lights. Okay, and now I'm going to create a room. And I'll just create a little, uh, you know, notice now we're kind of in the dark here. So I'll get us a little bit of auxiliary lighting just for a second. Kind of scale this down so we can see in our room. All right, and I'll bump up the size of our room a little just to kind of get it. Let me zero it out. I'll go up about 400 or something, just to get us a really dark room. Okay, so now what I want to do is turn our lighting off. I'm going to load our Python script. And this time I am going to just say, uh, it's going to be Joe's Bar and Grill. But I'm going to put, I don't know why I fixed that, because it's all uh, uppercase. I'm going to use a comma for the apostrophe, because we have a comma. We don't have an apostrophe. So I'll just say Joe's Bar and Grill. I don't have an ampersand, I don't believe. And I'm going to scale this up too. And I want to say, uh, change the strength. I'm going to change the strength kind of down because otherwise it can get kind of a, I don't know what the term is, but kind of a burned image. And I'll move this out of the way as it spells so you can see our text. And for this, I'm going to choose a kind of a, a neon looking text I've got here. Let me go to my graphics folder. And I'll use the same one I let me see what we'll use you can use almost anything if you want to use something a little different I could use this just to see what it looks like it's a pretty uh, that's a little smaller so that'll be okay and you might want to uh, crank the you know you can play around with what works for your image whether it needs to be brighter or less or more all right now I'll just kind of zoom in here and we'll fix our apostrophe. So that's kind of dark there. So that's kind of, uh, I'm not certain, really sure that's a good texture. I could have used a different one. I may, so if there, if you want to, and I noticed I have an issue whenever I use the apostrophe, the spacing is always a little messed up, but it's pretty easy if you go over to your scene, 
everything is in order so if you just want to take everything after that and you know that's a pretty easy fix but I don't really like that I L and L is very dark down there so I'm gonna do a different one I was just showing you an example so we'll say uh, I don't want to create a whole new scene so we'll just get rid of all this okay and we'll load our Python script again sip a beer time one second okay and this time I'll just call it a uh, Oh, Pinky's Pub or something. And I'm using a, you know, I could do something. I'm sure I could code around the comma and replace it out. But for now, we'll just, uh, you can kind of do that on your own if you want. You know, move the, use the comma and move it up. But I may one day fix that and you can type in an apostrophe and I'll just move it up. But we haven't done it yet. And we'll go back to my textures folder. Let me see what this, um, here's one we can use. That was something I just got recently. For this or something else but I was gonna use this is pinky's pub so we wanted to make that pink I'm sorry so that's the wrong text for that but I just wanted to show you what that would look like as a uh, you know let me scoot that out a little and we'll just take all these and move it over so I'll try to fix uh, oh wait I selected everything didn't mean to there we go Okay, so I'll try to fix some of the spacing issues over time, but so we'll do that again in pink. So just say pretend you didn't see that. That was just, but I wanted to see what that uh, looked like in the uh, three in neon or glow. Okay, and we'll do that one more time with the same name. Pinky's Pub. Scale it up. Try to remember this time to use something pink. I have the memory of a squirrel and some squirrels probably like going dude I can remember way more than you all right and we'll use this one see what that looks like I don't know if this is gonna look good as neon or not or glowy that's not too bad I mean you might want to make it a little more of a solid pink that's got a little bit kind of a pink and white but that's you know you can do what you want with it this one what do you think though is that worth the price of uh, free so we can kind of select everything and move it up so it's in our room a little better. And then from here, if you ever want to, like I already have one I added to my, let me go to my content. It is, there's content. Let me go to my custom folder for props. And I've got one that I added, but I'm actually going to probably get rid of it. But let me see if I can, there it is. So you can, you know, once you have one, you can add it to your little set here. I don't know if this one has, this isn't neon, the one I, never mind, I added one that wasn't neon, so I was thinking uh, D was just the first letter. I was going to show you that, but I forgot I didn't make it neon, but anyway, that was my short video. What do you think? Let me know. And if you have any video requests or questions, oh, we forgot to move our, sorry. I'll try to work on this over the weekend if I get uh, bored, may not, but it's one of those things, that, you know, if something takes four seconds to fix a lot of times I'll just leave it for many years but those four seconds is add up so okay well peace out and cheers